And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Swain. This one looks pretty interesting. This is another viewer submitted donation deck where it's basically just going to gonna be like Draven Ezreal, which as y'all know is like one of the top decks in the metagame, but replacing Ezreal um, and playing Swain instead. And of course, since we're playing Swain, we're going to want to be playing Leviathan. And so since we're playing, you know, so we're taking out Captain Farron for Leviathan. So besides that, it's basically just... Um, you know, Ezreal Swain, or sorry, Draven Ezreal, but with a different top end. Um, so that's pretty interesting, because Swain can, can uh, you know, like this can really take over games, of course, and especially the combo with Leviathan, it's very difficult to kill, because it's a 3-6, it's got that fearsome, you know, very powerful card, it works amazing with Ballistic Bot, not only just Leviathan, but Ballistic Bot also creating the ignitions, dealing one damage to the enemy Nexus, that's another way uh, to stun things, you know, for the Nexus or sorry, for whenever you deal non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus. Um, so yeah, so that, that seems pretty interesting. Besides that, we got all sorts of uh, other good cards. Death Lotus is in here these days because of Aurelia Azir and Noxus Shirima. I like the Azir Noxus deck. And um, Thresh Nasus. It's very good against Thresh Nasus as well. So it's just kind of good against a lot of stuff these days. It also helps enable Ravenous Flock. It helps... Um, enable Scorched Earth, and then it also can do a lot of non-combat damage as far as leveling up Swain is concerned. So, um, so there we go. So it's going to be Draven Swain. Let's go ahead and play our five games in Ranked, and let's see how it does. Okay, so here's Thresh Nasus. I think we're going to do better against Thresh Nasus than our previous deck, the Death Lotus. You know, good thing we put these Death Lotuses in here. And you love keeping Tribeam and Probulator, but... Am I keeping double Mystic Shant? Do we kill like three one? Maybe we keep one Mystic Shant. Let's keep one. Whoops. Sorry, Trusty Noodle started it and I accidentally canceled it, so I'm sorry, Trusty Noodle. Nope. I shall not remember you. Not even for once. So doing that right there before they could play... Um, like a glimpse beyond. Kind of an ugly hand. Do I have to try beam for two? Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Man, this is not good. That was not good. Not good at all. Alright, so we're getting destroyed so far. House Spider, you're good. That's a good card. House Spider. Does five non combat damage. Swain's up to seven. 
would have been 12 if they didn't have that glimpse beyond. Draven. Sump Dredger. Mm, that card's good. The party has arrived. Let's play some good cards. Love it. Whirling Death can help. So if they have Black Spear, it's going to be really rough for us. Certainly hoping that's not the case. Why would you not attack with the 4-1? Like even if you're worried about Death Lotus, like why would you? Why would they not attack there? Let's have the cards they've needed. This is most likely over with this Nasus. Of course, the Draven, the Draven won't be able to block the Nasus because they'll cha they'll challenge the Draven somewhere else. So, like, we have to block the Nasus with either Swain or Leviathan. If I play Leviathans, which means we block with Swain. Um, I could play the Ballistic Bot, and we can Spinning Axe the Ballistic Bot and have the Ballistic Bot block Nasus and keep Swain alive. If we do this. So this is what losing feels like? Sucks. It'll be pretty interesting to see how we do. Alright, so Mystic Shot just doesn't kill any anything that matters. Just kind of nice to Scorched Earth. Um, what I'm thinking here is that, you know, like, round three is when it starts, right? Like, we, we play our three health units on round three. Oh, or I guess they just have House Spider. Um, and so we can play a three health unit around round three, and then also have mana for three mana, Thermogenic Beam, to take down their three health unit. I have the best job. 
It's a perfect tribeam and probulator draw. Perfect tribe beam and probulator draw. Our hands looking good. It's Draven time. Well, hey there, good looking. Um, if I pass, do they pass? Probably, but I, I only lose one mana. No, they did not. Swain can still get Cooling Striked as well, so we, we really want to play Swain leveled up. We don't want to play Swain as a 3-6 because of Cooling Strike. Well, I guess I have these Spinning Axes, so why why would I need to be worried about Cooling Strike? Good call. So I could just play Swain right now, which, yeah, sure. By my hand. Attacking basically with the Swain basically means that I trade Swain for some treasure plus Ravenous Flock. It is a, a two for one. I guess that's all you can really want with your cards are getting two for ones. Okay, yeah, we can still draw. Making sure we don't have ten cards in hand. Populators at five. Like, open attack, like, they're they're saving up, like, they, I think they want me to open attack, but my Swain and my Draven are dead. Right? Like, they, like, they died of the fast spells, like, whenever I, if I open attack, like, these two are definitely dead. So then I'm only, like, attacking with, with, like, a 1-3 and a 4-3. We're gonna do better than them. Alright, so they're not, yeah, like, you know, so, like, their plan here this round, as you can tell, is just playing spells. And fortunately, a one mana short from doing the two things that I want to do. I want to play Draven plus Tribeam. I guess we're waiting on Tribeam. Tribeam can almost kill Captain Farron, but not quite. So this Tribeam's at 8. We kind of need to cast it. And 
Jack Lotus isn't any good. Looks like they may just have removal spells left. Because I don't know if I really want to go much higher with this tri-beam than, than 8. Like, 8's kind of the best number, right? Is 9... Like, 9 gives us Bright Steel Protector. But 9 has, like, some a bunch of misses. 8's kind of the better number. Fear the power. take a 6-6 six, six spell shield and while you know like it would have been better to use like sentry flock and stuff like that and save tribune probably later but like i was saying the eight was kind of the better number yeah then i just go with that okay So they got one card left. We have four cards and two things in play. We haven't drawn a Leviathan yet. They haven't played a Captain Farron yet. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorn. Okay, they still make the unit. Even if I if I kill my own Thorn of the Rose, they still make the unit. <clears throat> okay, so so this one I was kind of checking. So this does not have the last breath to make like another Heart of the Fluffed, right? Because it's not the Fluffed of the Poros. So it doesn't have the last breath. I still have a plan against, you know, a Farron with Mystic Shot Scorched Earth. So they're at 17 cards left, haven't played Farron. I'm at 19 cards left, haven't played. <laughs> yes, not, neither of us have drawn our, our big 8 draw. I'm going to kill that before it deals damage to me and creates a Mystic Shot. It's just, which way do I go? Do I go Improbulator Scorched Earth or Mystic Shot Scorched Earth? We can't use Death Lotus because we kind of have to kill this first. I guess Mystic Shot Scorched Earth. Keep Improbulator. We're only getting a one drop with the Improbulator. Okay, good. Not a Farron. Yay, Draven. No, they found Farron. Oh, they found Farron. It's Draven time. Okay, 
Okay, Marksman's a 3-1. <laughs> Dreadway deck can. All right, that'll do. I guess they don't have a Death Lotus in their in their deck to stop us or anything like that. Damn, I'm good. All right, one on one. Callista with Demacia. So this seems like this is probably going to be a um, Cythria Spectral Matron deck. That's my guess. I kind of like the hand. Yeah, I kind of like this hand. Thorn of the Row should be pretty good against the 3 Spectral Matron. Like, I'm not expecting them to have too many small things. Oh, I guess they're going to have, like, Vile Feast and stuff, though. Okay, maybe I should mulligan the Thorn of the Rose. Of course, I like the Rummage with the Draven. This will maybe get smaller removal out that would take out Thorn of the Rose. This will maybe get it out of their hand. I'm fine with that trade. It's Raven time. Draven can get a second spinning axe. Let's do this. Good for rummage. Everything's easier behind a mask. No, that's I knew I was gonna draw that. I was going to draw that. So, you know, if I would have just, like, played the rummage first, right, then we draw the improbulator, and then my Thorn of the Rose helps buff up the improbulator. Death begins your forever um... Yeah, I mean, that could be cool. The question is, like, how would you like if there was a ladder that did two out of three games like the Gauntlet does? That'd be cool. So, like, there'd be two... So, I guess you just have two... Like, so do you mean, like, it'd just be two separate ladders? Or would it just be the same ladder that you just have, like, the option of either playing... Um, you know, I, either playing best of three or, you know, one game. So I think it would kind of make sense just to have the same ladder. It's just, you know, you can just play it either way, but still still like you're just overall rank. And so I think that would make sense just to, ha to have that format added into uh, ranked as well. I think that would work pretty well. Did they just draw this Mass Mother last, or like this round? Did they not have it last round? Still have a mystic shot for another blocker. That is pretty nice, not gonna lie. That's pretty nice. Put 
down to eight. I guess we just play Leviathan. If I play the Swain, I can go like Swain plus, you know, Ignition. Yeah, we just play Leviathan. Yeah, I could actually like cast the Ignition and get value out of that. Alright, they're down to five. Very good draw. I'm liking this deck. I'm liking this deck. They are at five. It's kind of tough doing this, but I, I feel like probably the best thing for me to do. So, Mystic Shot and Flock that. Basically not let it challenge and kill anything else. Cool, no judgment. Judgment would have been a problem, not gonna lie. Judgment would have been a problem. Okay, we lost to Thresh Nasus earlier. We had too expensive of a hand and got ran over. So we're going to try to fix that by mulliganing our top end. Now we got some twos and threes. Like, we we didn't have twos and threes last time. <laughs> so this should help out. See what we see, Always Ballistic Bot's kind of the best card to play on round two. But House Spider pretty cool too. Witness perfection, meat bags. Yeah, today <laughs> today this deck has been our bane. Can you improve perfection? Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? I have the best job. That's right. That's such a nice combo. Being able to trade right there is so nice. Let's do this. I think we're just gonna house spider and pass. I kind of want to keep this three spell mana for the Whirling Death. And then it also, it gave me like one more chance to draw um, Thermogenic Beam before I start playing the three drops. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorn. That was the card I wanted. So that's pretty big. Thresh, Thresh in particular has, I, mean, I guess both the champions, both Thresh and Nasus, but they have been our bane today, and so getting that Thresh out of here, very good. All right, so 
Wayne is at 0 out of 12. That's not a good number to be at. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. I became a soldier. I like the I like the Howling Abyss deck versus Th Thresh Nasus. Yeah, I think that that's a pretty good matchup. Wow. Do I want Swain to take three or four damage? Kill one of those? Honestly, probably, yeah. Alright. Crusty Noodle, thank you so much. Take care. We didn't have Tribium and Probulator no in these talk. games. I get the Swain leveled up. Simpleton. Gives them two slays. I'm not sure if I want to give them that second slay or not, but I guess I don't really want to be at 12 either. This would keep them from drawing two cards. It would give me two spinning axes. It would give me two uh, nine. And then we'd also be able to play the ballistic bot. Yeah. Just worth it. It you know keeps them from getting a slay and it just keeps them from drawing two, right? So like that's a you know, good two for one, right? Because otherwise they would have drawn two. Oh, I guess I only get one spinning axe, right? But Can you improve perfection? Arda's gonna make a meal of them. So we're definitely playing Leviathan the next round. The few for the many. Oh, that was a Swain Crady card from Ravnus Walk from earlier. So should round start stun the Nasus? Because we're at 10 out of 12, so it should do, you know, like the first two don't stun, but levels up Swain, so then the third one now stuns Nasus. Hmm. Well, Thermo can kill Nasus, it does allow them to play a new Nasus. 
which I don't really want. They, of course, have the mana available for Atrocity right now. That's the other thing, like, you know, if I try this stuff. This way is, like, good for Vile Feast. That's what I'm doing, though. I definitely don't want to take any damage, and I don't want to give them an easy slay. Looks pretty good for us. I have no mana left. Now we'll kill this, then we'll kill Crash. And I can't imagine how they survive. This is the end. This is going to be a 3 1. There we go. Three and one. Damn, I'm good. Aurelia Azir. All right, can we stabilize? We are playing those two Death Lotus. They could do some work. Um, ballistic bots, awesome, but I honestly just don't think I really have time for two ballistic bots, right? Because like how aggressive they are, but I, I do want the first ballistic bot. But it's just like, when would we play the second? I don't know, like, that would be kind of difficult. Now, Ravenous Flock. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take some Ravenous Flocks. If we got to choose, we'd, we would take some Ravenous Flocks. Also, Tribeam and Probulator, not so bad. Obviously, Death Lotus, not bad. I'll take any of those. Okay. Flock was one of them. Green Glade Duo can be super scary. So, I want to get that thing out of here. Hang on, Zern. Yes, he. Okay, so you say you, you wish that the swap and free challenge stuff doesn't work on a stunned unit? I don't, I don't know why it wouldn't, though, right? Because, like, stun like a st stun doesn't make it, like... Or, like... Because it, it even works on, like, an immobilized unit, right? Like, it's just... You're just, like, re you know, you're just switching the spot of stuff. So, like, it doesn't matter that it's stunned and it can't be... In, like, it can't make itself go in combat. But you're using, like, this spell that takes, like, this immobile unit and, you know, re replace it over there. So, it... I understand the sen sentiment of, of wishing it didn't work, but it doesn't really make sense for it not to work. If that makes sense. I dance not to forget, but to remember. Um. Maybe I should have discarded, like, Spinning Axe, discard 
right there to get Draven one out of two level up, and then they attack here, and then we make it two out of two level up. like this I'm going to need to block I'm keeping okay because like they could play Azir right there so I had, I had to keep cooling strike available for a potential Azir Why didn't they shapestone the other one? Like my my Draven just blocked something else, like a blade dance. Why didn't they just Why didn't they just shapestone the other one? I don't get it. They had shapestone, like they could have killed Draven the first time it blocked. Only one card in hand. They could just swap it really if they want. But it looks like that last card's a bounce spell. Six. Yeah, and I guess that, that's that's why they're they wanted to save their plus one plus one for cooling strike on Aurelia, which is why they didn't kill the Draven the first time. Yeah, that makes sense. See what we see. Yeah, see, even, even if I stun the Aurelia, they still get to move it around and everything. If they play this correctly, they, they kill me with the elusive. And, you know, like, I can't really... I have to play something, right? Because if, if I don't, then they just attack and kill me. But see, like, they, they played this incorrectly now. Because now I can Kaling Strike the elusive. They need to Flawless Duet first. Which I'm, I'm still probably dead anyway, because then these are three lethal. Yeah, so I'm probably... I'm still just dead anyway, but... Um, if they just Flawless Duet first, then they create a... Then they... Cr create a blade surge and then play this then i can't kill this because then they, they blade sort surge and you know they protect it with blade surge and then you know get to attack with it and then blade surge again and kill me but with that being said i 
can't stay alive no matter what I do. Except we find Flock. But then they also just switch again. So that's to be after I block. Okay. Okay. We gotta draw Flock. Um, don't have enough mana for that. I have risen and with me, Shurima. My name will echo to the ages. I, that really didn't make sense playing that dancing droplet second whenever it could have been a two one. But yes, yeah, so like if I would have had flock here, I could have actually just stayed alive because then they would have only you know because I could just block five things and. I don't, I don't know if I'd still stay alive because of that thing, actually. But. Oh, well. Early Azir, you're a good deck. GG's. Okay, so we ended up going three and two. Pretty nice looking deck. Just didn't have the removal for Aurelia the last round. I, I did have the Culling Strike where maybe I need to try to Culling Strike it before it leveled up. But as we saw, they had the plus one, plus one that would have stopped the Culling Strike. Um, so I just I had all those sentries and just didn't have the flocks, right? <laughs> like, a Ravenous Flock to kill that Aurelia. And then that's a, you know, much different game, but we didn't have it. Um, you know, so we basically just had a whole bunch of 3-2s and 4-3s, and, and uh, obviously Aurelia Az Azir is great at just um, attacking through 3-3s, three right? Like, you're not, you're not going to win without being able to kill the champions. So, good game. Um, but yeah, it felt pretty good. You know, like this is, you know, was a, another version of Draven Ezreal. And it felt just like like right on par with Draven Ezreal. You know, Draven Ezreal is also a really good deck, and this kind of felt right on par with it. Um, I I liked the Swain Leviathan top end. I thought that was a pretty sweet top end. Like that that really worked out against the Nasus that one time. Um, yeah, so I liked it. Now you have a little bit less threes because you're not playing Ezreal as far as Tribeam and Probulator goes, but I think you still have plenty of threes as we saw with those games. Tribeam and Probulator was still very good for us. Um, but then Swain kind of gives you just this other. Uh, you know, this other dimension that of just like this really large unit it gets in combat a lot better it's this version i think is much better against like sh the sharp sight decks we didn't play against sharp sight decks but ezreal is so poor against any sharp sight deck that i think it kind of makes sense to play swain instead because of that because um of how poor ezreal can be against a very popular combat trick so i liked it all right, so that's Draven Swain. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of this version. If you're somebody that's been playing Draven Ezreal a lot and you want to play a, you know, just a little bit different deck, uh, give this one a try and let me know how it goes for you. All right, but that's going to be it here for Draven Swain. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.